We're here in Cottage Grove at an independent yarn. Julie Kinarowski is the owner and knitting and crocheting is back. It has been, it's been coming back for a few years, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's, uh, it's quite popular and we get a lot of people fall away from 16. Well, my youngest customer was 10 and uh, all the way up to 80s. And so Julie, why, why do you think it's coming back? Why are people back into knitting and crocheting? I think that it's, uh, it, it, I don't know, it's kind of therapeutic. You can have fun uh, making all kinds of things. We have a lot of people that make clothes and stuff for the grandkids. Um, so that's a fun way to give a part of yourself. And Natural fibers are coming back, so that makes it more popular to do that as well. Right, right. There is, uh, and we here in the Willamette Valley have a lot of uh, uh, people with llama, alpaca, sheep, and so uh, there's a lot of local interest in um, the different kinds of fiber. People are very knowledgeable about what's available. So what is an independent yarn? What, how do you describe this this little place here? <laughs> well, it, I, it's, a, it's a local place for people to come and knit and gather. It's a community of, of people with uh, similar interests. So you're a connector? I, I like to think so, yeah. Is it therapy? <laughs> I think so. Um, there's been some articles that have said that uh, children, ADHD children, uh, that in some schools they're teaching them how to knit so that that helps them to concentrate and to slow down a little bit to be able to take things in. It's a piece of you and it's something that can go down in your family history, your family lore. And I like that about it. I like that part of sharing myself with my family and my community. <laughs>